makes me feel calm. Like the water makes its own way, like the waves, you can just look at it for hours. So yeah. Do you think it affects your brain? It does, it does, yeah. Elena says that being around water has an effect that she can feel. And now research is saying she's right and it applies to all of us. We're talking about blue mind, which is the phrase that refers to the, the mildly meditative state that we get when we're near, in, on, or underwater. And there's actually some wearable technology that can prove this point, such as these sunglasses that actually monitor your brain waves when you're wearing them. So I'm gonna put these on, and we're gonna head out onto the water, and we'll see visual results of Blue Mind. So we're looking at feedback from your glasses, which have an EEG device embedded in them, and they're calibrating to your brain waves, and then they give you feedback so that you can start to understand how your own brain works. Research has shown that your brain definitely has a positive reaction. That their heart rate starts to slow, their breathing rate starts to slow, even their skin temperature starts to cool. They shift into a different uh, set of, of brain activity that we move out of the prefrontal cortex, the front brain, where we do all the calculating all day long and all those lists and all that busy work and our thinking becomes more distributed. Results that researchers say can generally be seen. In this brainwave image of a person out on the water, you can see the purple levels, which are your theta brainwaves, basically monitoring relaxation, is much higher than the green area, which is your beta region, or waves monitoring stress. And your brain doesn't go to sleep, it goes into this other mode, which allows us to relax, uh, to feel restored and to do more creative thinking. Well, of course, individual results are dependent on how much you actually like being out on the water. But they say you don't actually have to go out on a boat to get blue mind. What we found is, is that just moving towards the edge of the water starts that process, starts that, that neurochemical flood of the feel-good hormones and the drop of the stress hormones. So the sound of the water, the sight of the water, and the feel of the water puts us into this blue mind state. Enjoying the relaxation. Audra Brown, City News.